Hey, this is uh, Chris uh, from Dixieland Farm, and uh, today I'm going to show you uh, how to get music for free. Uh, you know, sometimes you don't have money, and uh, you know, sometimes you want stuff that's just not available uh, really out there uh, for you to buy. Uh, so, kind of a gray area here. You know, what we used to do in the 80s was, um, you know, a band came on the radio that we liked. We'd get a cassette tape, and we'd put it in and record it, and hopefully they'd be in a commercial break enough so we could flip the tape over and capture the, you know, the other part of it. You know, I remember The Who being live in 89, and I recorded that on cassette. Uh, you know, we could still do the same thing. You know, the radios don't do that anymore, but uh, all this stuff's available, you know, basically on the Internet. And, uh, you know, if you go to NPR.org and also KCRW and WFMU, uh, you know, a lot of these indie artists are out there. Um, you know, so great place to get some music. So... Um, let me show you how to do that, and then I'm also going to show you how to grab stuff from YouTube also, so you can kind of make your own archive uh, of stuff as well. So, I'm going to load up NPR's website here, right? We're going to search for Flaming Lips, and click on Heard on Air, and here we go, right? We've got uh, an interview with Wayne. Great thing to listen to, right? So, uh some stuff you can download, some stuff you can't. So let's assume you can't download this, right? You'd hit listen now. You know it's 10 minutes and 3 seconds because it says it here, right? So uh, I use Linux at home. Here uh, I'm using a Windows machine, so I might not know the name of some things, and there might be better programs out there. But let's say for Audacity, uh, a program that everyone has, right? I'm going to generate some silence, uh, and I'm going to load up uh, the calculator. All right, 10 minutes times uh, uh, 60 equals 600 seconds, right? So if it was a weird number, I'm just showing it to you, right? Plus, you know it's an extra 3 seconds. said so 10 minutes, 3 seconds. So that's 603. And then I'm going to give myself a uh, 4 or 5 second slop time, right? So we'll just call it 610 seconds. So it generates 610 seconds. It does that. And why I'm doing this is so that way what you can do is you can start the program hit, you know, record, go away for a while, come back, and it will have stopped recording. It hasn't just constantly run, you know, in the background forever. Uh, so that gets you pretty close to it, and then if you felt like it, what you could do is you could, you know, clip out the silence or whatever. Uh, on Linux, I've got this program called Wave Breaker. I'm sure there's something available um, as well, but if you had a concert, um, the program will load up Wave Breaker and you can see kind of where the it gets silent and you'd figure out and you'd click and what that would do is that would actually break up your track into multiple tracks so that way you could fast forward when you burn it to a CD. So you know basically what you do is uh, uh, edit here under preferences uh, the playback recording, the recording I've picked uh, sound mapper and basically that's anything that's playing through the computer and you set that for two, you know, for stereo and your settings, you know, you want 44, uh, 100 for uh, CD quality of course and you would just record it and walk away, you know, shut off anything that's running in the background, don't have Skype, don't have Facebook, don't have anything running, right? Just go ahead, you hit play on the website or you hit record rather on uh, on Audacity, hit play on the website, and then boom, you got yourself a recording. Then also, right, that's great. You hit uh, copy um, the picture, and I'm going to load up my favorite uh, program, uh, iFran View, which is free. And you copy and you paste. Right, you pick roughly a square. Right, for a CD, is a square on the front. Tray cards a uh, more rectangle, right? I had Control Y to crop the picture, and I save the picture, right, uh, Wayne, uh, to my desktop, and I load up MS Paint. Great program to do this in because it's quick. You know, that's that's the point, right? You want to do this stuff quick. So, open uh, on the desktop here, uh, the Wayne. And then just grab your little text icon here, right? And then you just put in, uh, you know, Wayne Coin interview. All right, I'll just save it, right? You know, you put the fancier information, you make it pretty or whatever. Then uh, another great program is called Cover XP. Uh, you load up Cover XP and you put that picture in there. And I'll show you real quick. 
right? And then cover templates, the CD front, and then for the back, you know, you have a different picture, um, or what you could do, right? Here's a perfect uh, example of what you could do, right? I'm gonna grab all that text, I'm gonna copy it, I'm gonna open up uh, Word, I'm gonna paste it, I'm gonna change my page to uh, landscape, a little bit easier that way, right? I'm gonna go to Print Preview, let me move this, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit print screen. Uh, I don't know if this will always work um, in Windows. You can get a program called Print Screen 2000, which works. It's free. You know, it's tiny. In Linux, it just works. And you hit that. Copy the... Basically, you took a snapshot of your desktop. Copy it to uh, your clipboard. You load up uh, iPhone View again. Move this out of the way. Right. And then you do the same thing. You do the um, copy what you want, crop it, right? And then you save that as your back. And now in Cover XP, load up the back. And now you got liner notes. You know, and you don't have to do anything, right? So same thing. You're on the website. It's got a track list. Grab the track list. Dump it into Word. Do whatever you need to do to kind of make it look prettier enough. And... Um, here in Cover XP, you got Spines Editor, right? So then you can write the Flaming Lips. Wayne Coin Interview. Change that size to about 80 so it fits. You hit Validate, and boom, when you hit Print, it'll print out on a piece of paper so that way you could actually put the, you know, you got a cover, you got a tray card, you got a spine on the side where you can actually read it. And, you know, it's, now you got something pretty. It took, you know, only a couple of minutes to even do any of this stuff. And then you just use your uh, normal CD burning program to burn the WAV file to a CD. And now, boom, you get yourself an instant interview disc. And that's basically all you need to do. And then, you know, you get yourself uh, instant music for free. Uh, you know, CD quality, most likely. And uh, grab your uh, favorite bands. You know, uh, we went and saw the, uh, the Polyphonic Spree, which was a great experience. And I'm like, oh, I wish I, you know... I loved it. I wish, you know, I had a recording of it. Well, it turns out in Philadelphia, two days prior, they did a live uh, concert on NPR. So I just recorded the concert. I did a set list, did a little picture. You know, now I've got basically a memento of the concert. It was free. And, you know, it's something that most people won't have. It's something that's never really going to be available. So that's, uh, that's great. And um, there are some programs that will download from a web browser, like... Uh, there's a, a, an add-on for uh, Firefox uh, called Download Helper. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. This uh, using Audacity to record, or I'm sure there's some other programs to record audio from your sound card, uh, will work just as well. Uh, of course, some tips are turn off your microphone, put down the line input, you know, mute. You just only have the audio that you need. You can have to set and do a couple of tests to make sure the levels are good and uh, it sounds fine. Um, program again is called Cover XP. You can download that. Uh, iFriend View is a great image editor. I would suggest that. It's tiny, quick, freeware. Uh, and, you know, basically I'm just copying and pasting back and forth. Uh, MS Paint, I find, is the easiest thing to add um, titles to, uh, you know, to, over a picture. The only other thing that I'm going to show you real quick is on YouTube, right, um, you know, People have been putting up a lot of stuff, and this stuff is great, you know, I mean, so Kink's soap opera, right? There was no way you were ever going to see this if you lived anywhere outside of England. Uh, but, you know, they have the teleplay up there. How long is it going to last being up there? It's, you know, I have no idea. So when you find uh, concert videos that you like or interviews or movies or whatever that's up there again this stuff may not be around forever you know we thought myspace was going to last forever yahoo was going to be around and you know be the big deal i remember you know back when meta spider was the only search engine you know things disappear on the digital world so save it you like something save it you go to a website called keepvid.com it loads up a little java applet and what you do is you just copy and paste the link of your YouTube video and it'll give you the download of it okay so you've got different qualities here 240, 360, 480. 480 is DVD quality so you would just click on that to save the file to your desktop save it to your desktop convert it using a, a great program as uh, AVI Demux which you can use in uh, Windows or Linux uh, freeware 
you can open any basically any file and convert it to any file so I can uh, let's say for example I've got uh, kids saying I feel dizzy here that's a small file I mean it's loading up right now I just go to auto optical disk DVD and it you know automatically will convert the file to a DVD compliant file and then I can use my burning software to make a DVD so you know that's another way and same thing with that cover XP program it'll also make a DVD covers as well so here's some uh, tips I uh, hope they've been helpful for you hope I didn't go uh, too quick um, thank you